group of downtown business owners, none of which have so far has been named other than Richard Hansen of Golden Gems, who is the spokesperson for the group. Most of the time when you have a group, you know who they are, and that way you know who the spokesman appointed, but at this point, that's what's happening. I've, I've heard the group called the core group. The core group is yeah. the name. Why don't we just call them the ghosts, since they don't exist? They don't exist. Well, rumor has it there's, there's going to be a big push going along, and, and now let's get it. Okay, before we get into this great topic of whether this recall is a good idea or a bad idea, this is one of these evolving stories, and by the time people really see this tape over a couple times over the next two weeks, it'll have already changed two or three times, so make sure you're going to the website. But what we know already is this threesome of counselors who are, tend to be like-minded but certainly don't vote all the time the same way are being targeted by what can be described as a pro-business community. Now, what we're going to be hearing in the next couple of days is that a counter-recall is going to be coming from some of those folks who are going to be calling as many as all four of the other counselors in a recall. I know specifically David Chapman has been targeted by a recall effort that the paperwork was taken out just today. And possibly this Hansen recall is not going to include all three of them, but just take on Mr. Navikas. Which would make sense, because the other two are up for election. Yeah, and the other two are up for election next year. So, so there's your recall right there. You just let the election take its, take its, take its way. Well, clearly the guy with the bummer of a birthmark is Eric Navikas. I mean, he is certainly the target in all of this. Um, you know, I, I don't even think these people <laughs> even care about where Navicus is and what the issues are. I think, I think this was just, they weren't happy with the election and they're gonna go after him as soon as they can. They, you can't even recall somebody for six months. This is like the seventh month of his term. So, you know, it's not like they really waited a so long time. So what's the hold up? What's the hold up? <laughs> but, but okay, here, let's get beyond all the inside baseball. If we can track all this, where we're probably gonna be in the next three months is as many as two to three recall efforts all out trying to get signatures. And I know one thing in Ashland is they won't have any problems getting the signatures, I don't think. I mean, you look at our website, you look at the talk, the political rhetoric, and I doubt anybody's gonna ask the question of whether they should be recalled or what they've done to be recalled. I think it's just gonna be, do you wanna recall them and signatures are gonna come, well, it, let's recall them. And So what's it gonna shape up to? Isn't, isn't this all about Mount A? You know, I think Mount A is part of it, but I don't think it's all about Mount A. Well, I think you've got the golf course issue, okay. you've got Mount A, you've got the, um, ah, the, the police issues, which we're going to talk about a little later, not only the substation, but the downtown patrols. You've got a lot of this stuff that's and just You've got been the, this downtown yeah. business group feeling disenfranchised by yeah. this small... Who is this downtown room? business group is question number one. I mean, if well, you're going to recall somebody, say who you are. I, and, I really and why you're recalling. It, it, makes, really it reminds me of the, what was the group a couple of years ago with the watch list? The, uh, the downtown vigilante yeah, the vigilante committee. committee or whatever. <laughs> right. I'm sure there's no crossover there. But. Uh, okay, well, look at, it, look at it from this standpoint. I, I doubt it's the Appreciative Inquiry Group. I'm just taking a guess on no, that. Appreciative Inquiry. <laughs> <powers. 'Cause laughs> We're going to appreciate to get these guys thrown out of office. That's what we agree on. How many of those are appreciative talk? inquiry groups are even still in Ashland? I don't even those, know. Those folks. But clearly it didn't work because this is recalling people in the first year of their term is not civil behavior, if you ask me. It's not civil discourse. That's, that's what America exactly, is all about. That's exactly what the recall process is for. If, you, if the public's viewpoint is not being rep well represented, that's... That's part yeah, of the process. So it's, to say it's not civil, I, I disagree with that. But I do think that this is all about Mount A. And the reason I think it's about Mount A is because Navikas is, is in, in, inextricably tied to Mount A. He was before the process, before he got, became a counselor. He was, be, I think he became a counselor because of, the, because of that, because of the folks that uh, really support his position on Mount A helped to elect him. I think that since he's been in office, we've dealt with the Mount A issue the whole way through. And, and when Chapman decided to call this particular vote in order to put Martha Bennett and I believe the Paula, uh, Brown. Paula Brown, the city uh, public, works public works director, director, to put them at the forefront of the negotiations with Mount A rather than uh, Kate Hartzell, right. Well, obviously, that's a tie to Mount A. And then once he did that and the votes were there, 
to replace Kate Hartzell and put these uh, uh, folks who have much more uh, amicable relationship with Mount, with Mount A at the forefront of the negotiations. What happened? Now you've got a subsequent recall targeting David Chapman. It's all about Mount A. I don't yeah. see that connection at all. The I, recall I think it's a, happened. I think the recall was coming down the pike either way, and that's the part. Don't you need at least some measure of failure, incompetence, the inability to do public office? What seems to be happening on a national, state, and local level is that we lose an election and we don't accept the losses, so we immediately try to throw them out. And it's not the way the government was meant to be. You get a term, you're elected, you do... Is anybody going to say that Eric Navickas, Alice Hardesty, and Kate Hartzell are not doing exactly what they said they were going to do in the election that they were voted for? They, they're falling through on their They're doing promises. exactly what they said. They were against Mount Ashland. They made that clear. They were for, if you, the, what we're going to get to later, the council goals are littered with their, their rhetoric. You know, affordable housing, this and that and the other. So it's just they're doing what they said. Poor, poor losers trying poor to losers. manipulate we're throw the them out. You guys are making my point. It's all about Mount A. Uh, it's not about Mount A, but the point